Well, we built a hexagon shed with two windows and a deck with some lights, as you can see. Um, it was cool. I mean, we didn't really know what the shed was intended to be used for, but we just, it was this cool little tiny shed. Yeah. So for us, we wanted to stand out. Um, we partnered with Mr. Resnick's engineering program and a student, Isabella Gray, is the one who designed our shed. It's a hexagon shed um, and it has an attached deck to the front of it. Also, it has a pergola for light. So um, the hexagon shed is very complicated. There's a lot of complex angles to be cut in order to frame that. Um, but again, we, we loved the design that Mr. Rustin's class and Bella came up with so that we could stand out from the competition. On day one, you know, it was just making sure that everybody was participating in their work and, you know, make sure they were doing their thing so that we could uh, finish on time. So I actually was in the design build competition last year and I was as a construction tech three student, whereas this year I'm a teacher's aide. So it's a lot different kind of in that aspect, but also our shed last year was just like a huge square. I mean, it was still fun. It was still an awesome design. We still had like our ups and downs, but this year it was so much more complicated and so much more interesting to watch it go from absolutely nothing to like the standing shed where we're doing the roofing. It was just so much cooler to have a hexagon than just an average square. I think the most difficult part of the competition would probably be the time span. I'd say the most difficult part of uh, our build was probably all of the angles. We had 30 degrees, 60 degrees. It was pretty difficult to kind of get them all together. I mean, usually a shed is a square, but this time we had like a totally different shape. Well, I've been going to the CT program with roughly like the same group of kids uh, these three years. And it's just really cool to like actually work as a team with them and not just in the shop when we have plenty of time to do it. When it's crunched down, like we really see how good we work as a team. I think the most fun part was kind of working as a team. You know, we had a bunch of, you know, a bunch of different people coming around and a bunch of students in our class. It's a different, different class. And I feel like the fact that we had our challenge almost made it more fun. You know, we, we're so used to doing something so casual and us usual that something different this kind of makes it a challenge and we're kind of, it was enjoyable, I like to say. This year was a, a lot of fun. Um, these are students that I've had for the last three years, um, taking CT1 and earning their OSHA card and, and taking CT2, um, that's a dual enrollment class with Sierra College and all the way up into this year. This class was special to me. It was the first year that I got to teach drywall to a class. So these students in CT3 um, for this year, the spring 2023 is always gonna have a special place in my heart. Um, a lot of these guys, they TA'd for me for multiple um, semesters, and um, whenever I ask them for help, they're, they, they're always like really um, encouraging and, and just jump at the bit to help out and stuff. So um, I'm always gonna, gonna remember the CT3 class of 2023. Very senior heavy class, which made it a lot of fun.